Hey designers, Jessica here, and I'm going to talk about um, one of the most exciting updates to my Instagram collection, which is these new <clears throat> PSD files for Photoshop that contain all of the swatches and all of the layer styles. Now, why is this useful for you? First off, you open up your file here and we have our gold collection and we've got all of the different Instagram styles and they're pretty nice and compact here. We've got all our collections and it's got a big enough preview that you can see the style, but um, I wanted to keep it nice and compact. Now, why this is useful is for a couple reasons. First off, maybe you don't want to load up uh, the styles. Maybe you don't use these on all the projects. Maybe um, you just want to use the styles here and there or whatever, or you just don't like to load the styles in your Photoshop. So you could open up this Photoshop file and you can simply copy and paste the layer styles. So the layers are all, um, the different styles are all labeled right over here. And you can actually like if you, you can have auto select layer on so you can instantly go to that style. So you go here and it will go to that style over here. So um, say I want to copy this. So I just touch that, that's leopard number five right click on it, copy layer style here, and then I would go to my destination document and paste the layer style. That is one of the good uses of this. So you've got all your styles, nothing to load. But the more important thing and the more exciting thing is that um, with Creative Cloud Libraries, and this is for if you have a newer version of Photoshop and you're working with Creative Cloud, Creative Cloud Libraries has become really an invaluable tool for me. It allows you to keep project files, graphics together. Um, it's just so useful. So if you're not using Creative Cloud Libraries, it's definitely something that you should look into. But what it's also nice for is that you can keep layer styles in there. So say you use two different computers or you want to keep things... Um, uh, the same between your systems or you just don't want to have like a million different styles all in your styles panel well you can keep them over here in separate collections so what you can do is normally if you're in a document you would just click on every layer and click the effects thing down here and then add them individually but this is, you know, brand new for the Instagram system. And why this is awesome is with Creative Cloud Libraries now, you can create a whole library based on a document. And what I did here was a lot of things, actually. I put all of the styles in order, first of all, because that's really important. Because if you just import them from a document into your libraries and they're not all in the right order, it can just look like a mess. Also, all of the labels, all of the layers have to be labeled correctly. So I went ahead and did all this work so that what you can do if you want to load this whole collection into your Creative Cloud libraries is you have your libraries panel open, have this document open, and you click up on the top right here and you create a new library from document. So I'm just going to click that and it has here layer styles default checked and that's the only one you want checked you don't need color um, and there's not really any other thing to to sync so i'm going to just click create new library and this is going to make a library with all of these styles and my document is called gold print style so by default that's the name of the document um, that's the name of the library and now you see here i have in order all of my um, styles, my Instagram styles in order, um, appropriately labeled in my library's collection. Um, and this is just a really great thing. I am actually, instead of keeping, because I have so many styles, instead of keeping them all here and having to scroll through, I'm putting them into my libraries as um, separate collections. So. There I have all my gold print styles. It's in my libraries. It's always available to me. So now I have another one that's called color print styles. And I actually use these a lot um, in my illustration because I don't necessarily always use a lot of gold, 
but I love using these styles as color. And the color styles are different because the pattern, um, it's the blending mode is luminosity. So I could be illustrating and using a lot of different brush colors and it's always going to use the color that um, I'm drawing with as the base. So it's just really nice. So if I want to load up all my color styles into my Photoshop library, the same thing applies. I just go here up on the top corner, create new library from document and click create new library. And this is going to make me a new library of all my color styles for Instagram. So I just, I, this actually took a ton of work, but hopefully it's going to be super useful for you guys. And because I did all the work, then you can just load it right into your Photoshop libraries and don't have to do all of the tedium. So um, it's just a really good thing. I'm definitely using libraries all the time now. And it kind of took me a little while to jump on board, but it's just absolutely wonderful. So now you have these nice little uh, swatch charts. And like I said, you can use them if to copy and paste the layer styles from directly, or just click one button and you can make a new library on it. And now they're also the web styles. There's gold web styles and color web styles, but I actually use mainly the print styles, um, so I don't really load those up. But in case you do use a lot of web styles, they're there. So hopefully you'll enjoy using this and uh, just uh, make, hopefully it'll make your workflow really faster and easier.